my YouTube fam. I am here today to talk about one specific perfume. Um, I was walking through the mall and I saw it and I love the bottle and I decided to give it a sniff. And that is Juicy Couture We, oui, which means yes in French. <laughs> um, I love this bottle. I thought it was beautiful. I had to have it. You know, I like to collect all the Juicy Coutures I can. And this is one that I had to. Look, guys, look how beautiful the bottle is. And the top. Look at the crystal top. And it has a charm on it that says we. Oui. It's like nail polish is stacked together. It's really pretty. Um, one thing I liked about it is that it was a fruity floral. And I love fruity florals. Um, I like fruity things, but just not too sweet. Um... I'm going to read the notes on this because usually I don't do that. I just give my opinion. But this, I'm only reviewing one, so I think I can do that. Well, the top notes, they say a watermelon, acacia berry, tea, and pear, which I do smell. I smell, um, well, I'll tell you what I smell when I get to that part. Okay, the middle, it says tuberose and honeysuckle. And it says the base notes are a, uh, a woody amber scent. Now, what I get from this, it's funny how you read these things and then you're like, oh, really? Oh, really? Like, to me, I really don't smell too much of the tuberose. I do, however, smell the honeysuckle. When I first spray this, the honeysuckle just, boom, it just comes right at me with a lot of other, it's just like everything just bum rushes. I smell everything at once. And that is kind of a turn off at first. If that happens, you know, like when you smell everything, you can't even tell what is base, middle. That's how I felt when I first smelled it. It was just extremely, just really everything at once. But then as it settled down, I smelled the watermelon and I smelled that honeysuckle for sure. I think that stands out. I smelled the pear and everything else started to come, you know, slowly in. And I, I really like that. But I really like when it, when it, dies down and all everything settles that smell is really beautiful um it smells like something familiar but yet i can't put my finger on it it also reminds me a little bit of that mon uh, perry by Yves saint laurent but not it, like it could be its cousin but not really you know it's not as strong as it and it's not as sexy as that one i find that one to be like a really sexy this one is just like a little calmer than that one. I don't know, something about it. It reminds me of it, but I'm not sure if that's what it is. But have a sniff of it. That's all I can say. And you'll probably say the same thing. It smells familiar, but I just can't pinpoint it. It's a very beautiful scent. I am very glad that I brought it. I love the bottle, and I am going to add it to my collection, and I think it's good. You know, it's a great one. Uh, I am going to do the 30-day, which I promise I've been not feeling well, and it's very hard to do that 30-day, um, what you wore for 30 days, especially when you don't always go somewhere, and then you forget to write the perfume or what you had on for that day. So I really have to go over everything and make sure I have everything right. And I, like I said, I was sick, so it threw me off a little bit. So, and I didn't start at the beginning of the month. But anyway, I will be doing that video because I promise. So anyway, this is a really good uh, perfume and I think you guys should go out and get it. And, or at least give it a try. Give it a sniff. I love it. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Bye-bye.